first program in part B C programming is git stuffing uh, so you have to go to the tool so there to open the new file file new go to source file the new file will be created and you have to type the program here and save the file with the .c extension so just type anything of your wish and type the type anything of your wish and save the file so here you have a save button so save it with the .c extension save it in any path of your wish so it is already existing so save it of your wish so I have already typed and kept the program so I will be opening that program so to open the typed program go to file open so this is a bit stuffing program so we will see the output of a bit stuffing program so go to execute compile or press F9 button So the compilation is going to take place here. You have zero errors and zero warnings. So if you have an error, it will indicate the here, uh, error here with a line number. Then again go to execute and run or press F10 button. So enter the bit stream it is asking. Enter any bit stream of your wish or enter the bit stream what is given in the manual so this is a bit string that is given in the manual so after typing the bit string press enter button So here you can see that you have a flag you have a flag that is 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 followed by 5 ones after 5 ones you have inserted the 0 and next the rest of the data stream it is continued and after that you have the flag that is 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 so 0 triple 1 and triple 1 0 it will be there at the starting of the data stream and at the ending of the data stream which is acting as a flag and after 5 months you have inserted a bit 0 so this is the output of a bit stuffing now we will see the program then you can understand how we got this output bit stuffing program so bit stuffing it is nothing but insertion of one or more bits into a transmission unit so that it provides a signaling information to a receiver the receiver knows how to detect or remove the or discard the stuffed bits so the main aim of a bit stuffing is to insert a bit by performing a slicing or splitting of a data stream so that whenever there is an error so the sliced data it can be easily debugged by the receiver so that is the main aim of performing bit stuffing so the stuff how we are going to stuff the bit is we are going to stuff the bit after five consecutive ones we are going to insert a bit zero so you are slicing the input data stream or dividing an input data stream and the receiver will be having the knowledge of this slicing the receiver is going to discard the stuffed bit and he is going to receive the original data. So we will see the program. So ash include stdio.h it is an string.h it is an header file which is used to perform all the string operation. Ash include stdio.h it is a standard input output header file where all the printf and scanner functions are available main execution main function execution of c program always starts from the main function next we have initialized the characters declared the characters that is a a it is of an array array means it is going to start from the memory location a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 up to a of 19 so it is going to take 20 memory location 
next we have a flag that is fs of 50 it is equal to double quotes whatever the flag data we are going to give as an input it will be saved and kept inside the double quotes so it can take any of the value but here we have considered the flag as 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 as our flag so and it will be given in the double quotes it will be saved in the double quotes and it is also going to take an array memory location so it is going to start from fs of 0 fs of 1 fs of 2 next we have a variable that is t of 6 and r of 5 so all these variables are declared in the form of an array type and it is of a character data type next we are defining an variables i p p equal to 0 q equal to 0 of an integer data type next printf printf it is going to print whatever you are going to give in the double quotes on the console so enter bit string so this we have it is going to appear here on the console that is at the output enter bit stream so printf enter bit stream scanf percentage s comma a so whatever that data input data you are going to give it is considered to be as a string type string data type and it is going to stay saved in a variable a how we have declared the variable a we have declared the variable a in the form of an array so each bit stream it is going to occupy a memory location that is this one will be a of 0 next will be a of 1 next is a of 2 a of 3 a of 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so from a of 0 to a of 13 memory location this input bit stream what you have given here it is going to be saved next string concatenate fs comma 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 so string con strcat it is a string concatenate concatenating it is nothing but it is going to combine the bits together and it is going to save in the variable that is fs so now fs will have 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 initially saved in the memory location in the form of an array next if string length of a is less than 5 so what is string length of a it is the length of an input bit stream so input bit stream so we have to count how many number of bits we have given as an input here here we have 14 input bits count it and see here we have 14 input bits that is a length of an input bit stream so string length of a what is saved in a? a in a we have stored the input bit stream so the length of the input bit stream is 14 14 is less than 5 the condition is true no the condition is not true so it will come out of the if condition so this statement will not be executed else part will be executed here so else part is executed here since this condition is false so in else condition we have a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than string length of a minus 4 so i equal to 0 0 is less than string length we have 14 14 minus 4 we have 10 so 0 is less than 10 the condition is true so it is going to enter into the second for loop so j equal to i so we have the value of i from the previous for loop i value equal to 0 so j is less than 0 plus 5 so j is less than 0 plus 5 here so 0 is less than 5 the condition is true so it is going to enter into this for loop so t of p plus plus t of p plus plus it is nothing but p equal to 0 initially we have here declared here p value it is equal to 0 so p 0 plus 1 so it is nothing but 1 here so we'll have here t of 1 it is equals to a of j what is the value of j from the for loop here the j value is 0 so whatever the value that is stored in a of 0 
will be saved and kept in a temporary variable that is t of 1. Next again the j value is incremented, j value is incremented to 1. So 1 is less than 5 because i value 0 will remain 0 here. So this for loop will be executed. So j value will become 1 now. So 1 is less than 5 the condition is true. Again p value also will be incremented to 2. It is equals to a of 1. So what is a bit that is stored in a of 1? It will be saved and kept in a of 2. Sorry t of 2. So this process will be executed continuously until we get this condition to be false that is phi is less than phi j when j value will become phi so this condition will become false that is phi is less than phi the condition will become false and it will come out of this for loop and executes the term uh, terminator statement so that is t of p it is equals to what is t of p the p value will become here phi so t of p it is equals to the null character means the terminating character all the phi ones all the phi ones it will be saved and kept in a temporary variable next so this for is com for loop is completed next we are going to enter into the next statement that is if statement if string compare so we are going to compare the bits that is stored in this temporary variable that is t of p whatever that is there the five bits first five bits of a of uh, array value it is going to be saved in t array value so we are going to compare here bitwise comparison is done so if it is equal to equal to the same value five ones are same then it is assigned with equal to zero assigned equal to 0 if then if this condition is true if statement is executed here so string concatenate fs so what was the earlier value of an fs that we have saved the earlier value of fs is this flag that is 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 now along with this so we are going to concatenate this value that is 5 1 0 means we have got this part 0 triple 1 triple one zero followed by five ones and you have inserted zero here so you have compared the five ones with the temporary variable and if you have a five ones then you are going to insert zero so the new value of fs will be the flag that is zero triple one triple one zero next five ones zero next i value i value was it is equals to j minus 1 so j value was initially we have left here up to 5 so the j value remains same that is 5 so 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 it is equal to 4 so i value new value of an i will be equal to 4 now if this condition is true this statement is executed suppose if this condition is false means we doesn't have a five ones here when we compare so then else part is going to be executed suppose you have not given an input as five ones you have given an input data stream differently that is one zero one zero suppose you have given then you are not going to insert any bit so only when you have a consecutive ones then you are going to insert a bit that is zero so if that condition is false then else statement is going to be executed so what is this else statement is r of 0 it is equal to a of i what is the value of i here from the previous statement i value it is equals to 4 next r of 1 it is equals to the next memory location you are going to terminate that is null 0 means it is not going to occupy any value in the memory location next statement is string concatenate fs comma r so what is the value of an fs we have so fs was 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 only when this condition is true it is concatenated with 5 1 0 if this condition is false or if this condition is false then F, fs value is going to remain same as 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 
it is concatenated with R that is what is whatever the data that is there in A of 4 the next memory location it is going to be concatenated with the FS and stored in FS so this else condition is completed then after that again initialize the p value it is equals to 0 next for loop third for loop for equal to q equal to i equal to uh, q equal to i that is q equal to i value is what i value is 4 then 4 is less than string length of a the string length we have is 14 so 4 is less than 14 the condition is true again you are going to increment the p value p value was 0 here we have initialized it to 0 increment it by 1 that is 0 plus 1 so t of 1 it is equals to a of q a of q is nothing but the q value is 4 so means after 5 ones from the fourth memory location it is going to considered and it is going to save in a temporary variable then after that it is going to terminate to a zero value the next memory location so this process is continued uh, continued until you get a condition that is 14 is less than 14 so 14 is less than 14 so the loop will be completed and it will come out of the loop and this termination statement is executed means from the memory location that is 4 up to 14 all the data that is there in an A array will be saved in T array. Next, concatenate, string concatenate FS comma T. So FS comma T, what we had in FS, we had 0, 1, 1, 0 along with whatever it is there, the T value, string value, it is going to be saved here. This for loop it is executed and this else condition is executed only when this condition that is if condition becomes false that is when you don't have five ones this part will be executed so again the i value is incremented so come to the first for loop the i value is incremented to one now so one is less than ten again all this process is continued all this process is continued again i value is incremented to 2 this is continued and this process will be continued until 10 is less than 10 so it will come out of the for loop the first for loop and it will execute string concatenate fs so suppose if we have five ones so here we have inserted 0 after five ones so the fs value is 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 followed by 5 ones 0 after that here we have transferred whatever the data that is there in a of 4 to t of p and again string concatenate so the new value of fs have become 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 followed by 5 ones 0 after that the remaining data whatever it is there here and then last we have the same flag fs so that's why here this is the updated value of an fs again you are concatenating with the last flag value that is 0 triple 1 triple 1 0 and it is saved in fs now we are printing printf after stuffing percentage s fs so the new value of an fs that is a complete the complete data after stuffing along with the flag at the starting and along with the flag at the ending along with the stuffed bit after five ones it will be printed here get ch get ch function it is used uh, where the console will wait for some time for the user input and you are going to end the main function so this is the result since you have five ones here you're going to insert zero if you doesn't have five ones here you're not going to insert zero here so whenever you have five ones it is going to insert zero this is a rule of bit stuffing